Listen, I'd rather be seen trying than not trying at all. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Jaden Raj and I am back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys an easy guide and some steps and ways that you can become a content creator like today. Keep in mind that I am speaking from the perspective of like my own experiences and I have been doing content creation for about two years now and I've had pretty good success taking into account how many followers, subscribers and how much and how good my engagement is. But a lot of these are things that I should have been already doing and that I need to work on so there's also might just be me projecting onto you guys nonetheless if you are new here i do make fashion lifestyle and advice type of content so if that's what you like stick around and subscribe but for now let's hop right into the video so i do have my trusty notebook my journal where i've been just basically jotting down some notes and some ideas for this video and i've come to a complete five things that i want to talk about and a lot of these things i would implement if i was to start over content creation but let's get into the first one okay so the first one is is branding me personally i think branding takes a huge chunk and needs to be focused on a lot when in content creation branding could involve like you niching down your type of name that you come up with what type of content that you come up with how you're going to make your content what platform you're going to make your content on so within this branding point i will be talking about all of those so so imagine right your company you're outsourcing to find creators for this one campaign and you come across a creator he has i don't know 10k followers 20 000 followers but his name on instagram is i hate jesus or like that might be a little too crazy or something basically out of the ordinary that just doesn't align with the brand or just probably shouldn't even be your instagram name if this is supposed to be like a business a branding business you know what i mean me as a company i would not want to work with that person because the name is obscure and the name just doesn't fit with the brand all my social medias are Jaden x monroe but i also go by Jaden raj I go by Jaden raj on youtube the Jaden x monroe is just like the at your handle basically but you also don't have to just have your name like me personally I wish when I started I didn't add my last name because that just gives the internet a little bit more information about me <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to hit is email you're a content creator So eventually you want to start working with brands you want to start working with companies But when you first start out, I would not focus on that too much But it's always nice to have your email within your bio or within these companies reaches put it in your bio or put it in any type of Format that the social media app has there's that occasion where brands will DM you on Instagram or whatever platform They're trying to reach you on but nine out of ten times business deals uh negotiating um money transfers wires all of that will be handled within your email so if a brand wants to work with you and they cannot reach your email that just makes it harder for them because now they had to find a way to communicate with you now another thing niche is very important as well i do make fashion content and i will admit when i first started this i didn't understand what niche was because on this channel i started making pranks i was doing challenges i was doing a whole bunch of just weird shit i'm not gonna lie i was doing weird shit weird shit for me at least but i buckled down and i became a fashion influencer content creation should be based around you you know what i'm saying you're the one creating content so it's based around your life it's based around things you like to do and at the end of the day you want to inspire people and you want to bring different people in through your content so that's why i'm doing like lifestyle advice content as well because i think i have a lot to offer in that field as well and i feel like i've experienced a lot especially if especially when it comes to like content creating where like a lot of people want to like gatekeep and shit like that we're not doing that now you can simply be the niche yourself and that's what a lot of people have been doing in 2023 when you just become the niche yourself that just means you'll do anything as long as you are being your true self and genuine self within the content that's why i'm not really afraid to like branch out to like the lifestyle advice anymore because i just know that i'm going to be mad true like and i'm going to put myself in content and i'm going to put myself 100 in the content so it'll come out and eventually end up really good for me okay now the last thing that i want to talk about in branding is editing styles now me i went to school or editing well i went to school for video production i graduated with, with a video production degree so everything like when it comes down to knowing how to work a camera microphones all of that i basically learned all of that within school and i learned how to edit and a lot of the times my professors would tell me that i have a really good editing style for i can tell a good story or i could put clips together very seamlessly now i've digressed from that a lot because i haven't been in school and i haven't even taken video production classes in so long but as i start to get back on youtube a lot of that will be coming out a lot more and i will be 
be improving on that as well. But I genuinely think your editing style and the styles that you produce your content will differentiate you from everyone else. Back in like February of 2023, so many people started buying microphones for TikTok. If, if you were around that time, get ready with me's were going crazy. Every male fashion get ready with me person was getting a uh, microphone and they were talking. I did hop on the trend of getting a microphone and talking and pushed my content volumes. That pushed my TikTok account volumes. Like I'm at 22K right now, which is still very small, but it's a blessing and it's such an achievement that I earn. But yeah, I think I've developed a really cool editing style or an editing style that's very unique to me. And I do very small details with my edits that I don't see a lot of people do. And I'm very confident and I will stand on that. Yeah, those are the things that I really think go into branding. I could be missing the mark on a lot of things, but those are the things that I would worry about. Like I said, these are my own perspectives and these are just things that I either lack and I'm improving on now or things that I started to do and don't necessarily do anymore. Let's, 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 let's know that. Let's know that. Something I want to move on to is habits. Now this one is definitely like a projection. Like I promise you, like I wish I just developed small habits when I first started content creation because I personally think it would have taken me way farther than I am right now, but I can't change the past. So <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> so the first uh, point that I did write for habits is uh, just scheduling. I wish I did a lot better on planning days I would make content and just days that I would post content on Instagram and even on YouTube because I've been putting a lot of my focus on TikTok and it was so hard for me to like manage all three. Like at one point in time of my content creation, like career journey, whatever, I was managing all three. Anything I made for Instagram because Instagram at the time was my main platform so anything i was posting on instagram i would post on tiktok and i also was doing youtube so instagram and youtube were both my main platforms but at the same time and that's what i'm working on right now is just trying to schedule my days out a lot better and make the most out of my time and optimize my time so i can produce content on three different platforms because all three are very different so you have to kind of learn all three and make different content for all three right right and like, I remember like when I was in college doing content, that was probably the best years of my content creation like journey because bro, during COVID bro, whenever I would get a break from class or in between classes, I was recording a YouTube video. I was making TikToks, I was making reels. When I would come home from college, like as soon as I came home, I already had my outfits picked out the night before, would make reels, but I'd make like 10 reels in one day and keep that, hoard that and, and, and bash that for the entire week. And I also wanna add that these habits, like these are things that like, like are clockwork. Like these are things that like should come very natural. Like I wanna say tag, Tagging brands and hashtagging. I used to think I was too cool to tag brands, bro. I used to think I was too cool to use hashtags. Who who deemed that? Who said it's it's corny to tag brands? Who said it's corny to use hashtags? The the primary reason you're tagging brands is because you're either you're either showcasing them for like free, like no advertisement, no money in the video. So if you give them a simple tag, they might see the video and they might be like, oh, this guy already seamlessly naturally uses our stuff. Let's work with them. That's what's happened to me in the past. Like I remember this summer I made a Urban Outfitters uh, video, not really pertaining to Urban Outfitters, but I tagged them and I got an opportunity, like, well, I got an email from them and they basically were like, listen, we saw your video. They even tagged the video. A lot of the brands, what they'll do sometimes, they'll tag the video that they saw and they'll actually replicate a video just like that with their brand. That's what's been happening to me all summer. Like a lot of brands have been emailing me like that and it's because all I did was tag them. Tagging brands could literally take your content so far, can take your account, your growth literally so far. It's no shame in tagging brands. I, like I, I go by this quote, I'd rather be seen trying than not trying at all, bro. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try hard. Yes, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna super duper duper try. Like, what are you talking about, bro? And even with hashtagging, if you use the right hashtags, that hashtag that you put can literally put you at the top of that hashtag and a lot more people will see your content. Me, I'm still very iffy on hashtags. Like, I promise I still don't know what I'm doing with hashtags. Like, but gratefully on YouTube, you know, you have a couple of uh, AI SEO type searches that can like help you with uh, um, tagging and like putting keywords within your content, but other apps necessarily don't really have that type of tool. At least I'm just late to the party. So, so yeah, I think those two are very important when it comes to like developing just simple habits that can help you take and boost your content. Next is networking and building friendships. This should also be very seamless. Not only does it like show people that you genuinely like it and that you're showing love, but they might react to do the same thing. Because if I see a page that's never seen me and we've never crossed paths, but I just comment or like a video and they do the same, we give each other a follow. Now that's, that's a simple networking thing. That's a simple building through connections. When you have other people in the same field as you, in the same career as you, in the same work as you, it's a lot easier and it can build a lot more friendships that you actually like think. You never know. You could you could you could become friends with a person that has a hundred thousand followers on 
social media and you only have 20k and they open so many doors for you and they put you in rooms with them that you never thought that you could be in and i want to say get yourself a weekly planner bro get yourself a planner like look at this bro I also want to recommend you get like a book. I'm reading Atomic Habits right now by um, James Clare. And this is why I spoke about the habits uh, section because a lot of the things that I've been reading in this book, I could have easily been implementing my entire time throughout content creation and I just didn't know. The next one is to be yourself. Now I spoke about this a little bit in the first one where it was like niche and making yourself the niche and da da da, da. but we're gonna bring that back. When people say be yourself, like I genuinely want you to know, like it literally just means be yourself, bro. Like right now I'm being myself. Before I used to script out my YouTube videos and I was just even watching back my YouTube videos, some of them like in this year alone and bro, I was saying shit that I probably would never say. I was speaking like a robot, bro. But yeah, use your personality and be yourself. Um, A lot of the times also on YouTube, like I would like be scared to be myself, bro. Like I was even looking at one of my past vlogs and my, one of my past vlogs like i was genuinely being myself and then after that vlog like i just started to let me not even say after that vlog 2023 content the beginning of 2023 content i was not being myself bro i was being some weird robot trying to get views da, 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 da. i was not being myself but now that's changing like i'm literally being myself if you even watched my last video my back to school outfits i did videos i'm genuinely and totally being myself throughout that entire video and it should it shouldn't be hard for you to be yourself just wake up bro <laughs> and talk how you would normally talk you just have to also be very confident in yourself and not really care what people think i think a lot of the times when people hear be yourself and they're not being themselves is because they're really uh nervous and they're really like lacking the confidence to go on camera and like talk how they talk because they're ha because they have a fear of being judged in the beginning i had a fear of being judged and somebody recently we spoke about consecration and I was giving her some tips and stuff like that. And she told me that I seem really just relaxed on camera and just, I know how to talk and da 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 da. I don't mess up my words and da da da. First off, I do mess up my words. First off, bro, you know how many takes I be doing? Like about 50, about 50 until I get it right. Also, I want to say, use your strengths and weaknesses. A lot of people do use their strengths and weaknesses online, and I've been seeing that a lot more. Like, something that they are really bad at, they will monetize that. They will make videos about that. They will make content about that, explaining to their followers, explaining to the world that they are bad at this. And it only levels you and makes you relatable to make content is amazing. And it's just, it goes for the opposite of being strengths. I'm using my, like confidence in like my editing style and then like my fashion sense as one of my strengths to make content i know i could dress i know i could speak kind of good when i want to <laughs> when i'm by myself on a camera and i also know that i know how to edit so i use all of that within my content and it i'm, I'm i hope it shows i, I want to refer to this comment that i recently got where somebody said this and it really reminded me on like why i do this you know what i'm saying like it really showed me like, damn, like this is why I do this. Like this is why I'm gonna keep going too. But yeah, that's just be yourself, bro. Like you, you, you only know how to be yourself. No one else knows how to be you. You only know how to be yourself. Moving on to the fourth one is consistency. Now this one is gonna be very short because like that's so cliche, right? That's so like, you hear that all the time. Being consistent will take you a long way, bro. Back in 2021, when I was blowing up on YouTube and gaining and I got monetized and I was gaining so many subscribers and stuff like that. The reason why is because I was being consistent. I was consistently dropping good videos. I was consistently dropping videos that my subscribers wanted to see and they showed out for me, bro. They liked every video, they commented, they shared it, they did what they needed to do. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda let y'all down because I stopped being consistent. And I stopped just being consistent in my regular life. And it was honestly, I used to blame it on school because I was in my last year of college, so I had a lot of different assignments to take care of, but it wasn't school, bro, it was me, it was me. It was it was me just lacking the, 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 the ability to even produce videos. And it's because I reached a certain goal, and after I reached that goal, I just stopped. I reached a thousand subscribers and I got monetized and that was like the end all be all. I felt like I was done. Remember, your consistency is your consistency. You know what I mean? Build, make your own consistency. Don't be like me and don't just abandon the app. Just abandon not posting content at all because that's not being consistent at all. I'm coming back every two to three, four or five months. That's not being consistent. You're consistently being inconsistent. That's what you're being consistent on. So if you want to talk about consistency, you're consistently being inconsistent. And, and honestly, even if it is like a slow start, you will eventually see the progression. You will eventually grow. Like, that's why I'm not even worried about, like, the numbers too much anymore. It's like, I'm just going to be consistent and know that I'm producing high content. So the numbers, the engagement, all the followers, all the success will come. It will come. Trust, bro. It will come. 
Now, the last one that I do want to speak about is just building a community. I think a lot of people get caught up in like the success that you can get from content creation that they don't appeal or they don't relate to their followers anymore. Not necessarily relate because once you do reach a certain status or a certain hierarchy within the content creation realm, a lot of those people that did follow you when you were first struggling, when you were first coming up might not relate to you now because you do have a little bit more money. You do have a little bit more success. You do have a little bit more um, oomph added to your content and to yourself as a content creator. You need to connect with your supporters. They are the ones that are pumping the brakes for you. They are the ones that are working overtime. They are the ones that are watching your videos, liking your videos, commenting on your videos without them. Without them consuming your content, you're basically nothing. And that's how I see it personally. That's why I never really feel like entitled i try not to feel entitled when it comes to like views and stuff like that because at the end of the day i know and i am confident that i am putting in the work 100 percent to get to where i need to be i am making the videos i'm doing the edits i'm making the quality content i'm posting it when i need to post it i'm i'm, I'm engaging i'm doing my hashtags all that all that all that now it's just in the hands of of course these TikTok apps or like youtube apps instagram apps the algorithm but it's also in the hands of like people that are consuming or people that want to consume it if they deem it to be good they're gonna like it if they don't deem it to be good, they're not gonna like it, they're gonna keep it pushing. So the consumer, the the people behind the phone that are consuming the content are basically in control. Since I started growing on TikTok, I've just been trying to build my community. And I like love seeing people that followed me from the beginning come back and comment on my stuff and just knowing that they're still here, they're still supporting me. That's probably the best thing that I could ask for. But also even within building this community, once you start to build your community, this will be very easy for you to grow on other platforms and bring that community to all your other platforms, which just helps you grow simultaneously, growing all at once. So like my community on TikTok, what I'm about to start doing because I'm starting to get back on YouTube, I'm gonna try to implement a lot of my YouTube within my TikTok branding. Whenever I make a TikTok video, I'm just gonna seamlessly mention like, listen, I dropped a video on YouTube, here's the scheduling. If you wanna go check it out, go check it out, blah, 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 and vice versa on YouTube. Whenever I on YouTube and I'm referring to something on a different social media app, I'm I'm going to plug that social media app. The power really comes from if you're truly inspiring them, if they really believe in you, because that's when they'll really see if they're going to move to those apps, because you can do all this promoting. If the people are not inspired and not believing what you're doing, they're not gonna go, bro. This is why I think building community is so powerful because like they will really show out for you. When you build a community and you have people that are following you because they genuinely like your shit, they will show out for you. Like just build a community, bro. Just build a community, inspire people, and then you'll be okay. If you combine all five of these steps when you're first starting out, that you will become a successful content creator. I've had my own successes already. You know what I'm saying? I've just lacked in a lot of areas, like I stated in the beginning. I've gotten to deal with Adidas. I've gotten to deal with Fashion Nova. I've gotten to deal with uh, uh, lotion brands, skincare brands, skincare brands send me PR, Polo, Ralph Lauren send me PR. I've worked with Tommy. I've had my own share of success. I truly think I've had a lot of my own experiences through emailing with brands, through just networking with other content creators which is why i'm giving you guys not even free game not even free sauce because like i said it is coming from my own experiences so i'm just telling you guys the truth like how i've seen it and i did not see videos like this when i first was coming up so um the fact that i'm able to even produce videos like this for you guys is super cool and whoever's watching this if you made it all the way here and you really do enjoy a lot of the steps that i talked about or even just a lot of the points because i did ramble a lot um yeah just just hit me down in the comments like let me know like if if anything really spoke to you or if you have any questions about content creation and just go for it bro like you don't want to be 30 you don't want to be 40 you don't want to be 50 you don't want to be older and think about how you never started that thing because you were afraid or you never started that thing because you deemed that you couldn't bro just jump into it when i tell you i started this shit from nothing like i started this from nothing and when and and it might not even seem like a lot but bro i have 4,000 people on my instagram right now that follow me um takes like i got 22k that's crazy like imagine all those people in one room that's crazy but let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this video let me know in the comments if you guys have any more questions about content creation i definitely want to do a lot more videos like this and just give you guys tips and gems and life experiences that stuff that like i experienced like talking about brand deals uh how to negotiate brand kits brand um uh negotiating uh brand pitches and stuff like that LOCs, all that type of stuff i definitely want to put you guys on so let me know in the comments what you guys think and don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn that post notification bell because i am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2023 so peace